Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this atomic graphic directly in PowerPoint and animate it. So let's jump into it. We will start with a blank presentation and choose layout blank. We can create the first graphic with an oval. So we'll click on oval, click anywhere, right click on it, choose format shape, and then we'll go to the size. And I want to make this 10 high by three and a half wide. Now I can align it to the middle and then we'll go to lines. And I'm going to give it a six point line. And I'm just going to change the color to this dark gray and then choose no fill. Now we have the first oval. We can click on it, control D to duplicate, drag it back over the top so it snaps into place. And then we'll roll over the circular arrow at the top hold down shift, click and drag, and that will rotate in 15 degree increments. And there is the rotation that we want. I'll do this again, control D, drag it over, and then rotate it back. So there's our perfectly aligned outline. And now we're going to add the dots that we're going to animate. So I'll click on oval. We'll go to size. And I want this to be 1.5 by 1.5. And we'll choose the same fill color as the outlines here. And we'll make sure there's no outline on this circle. And then we can drag this over to where we want it. So the first one I'm going to put on this vertical oval. And I want to make sure it's aligned vertically to the middle of the page. And now we can add the animation. And to do that, we go to animations, add animation, scroll to the bottom, and we choose shapes. The default will be an oval, and we can see the dotted outline of where it's rotating around. I can now rotate this motion path. Drag it over to the correct position, and then by dragging in these handles, I can align it to the oval. So now when we play, it will move around the oval. And we can double click on this. I don't want it to have a smooth end or a smooth start. And in the timing section, I want it to repeat until the end of slide. So now it will just continue going around when we play the slide. And I'm just going to slow this down a bit to three seconds and make sure that it happens with previous. So as soon as we run the slide, it will start animating. Great. Now let's add the other two. So I think the easiest way to do this is to click on the shape, press control D to duplicate it. Then we can drag the shape into the position it's supposed to start in, which is about here. And then we can rotate the motion path and this gray circle here will want to end up underneath our circle there. So the start positions are correct. And to do that, we can click here on the outside and drag it into position. Great. That's close enough. Now let's play it. Great. And now we'll do the final circle. So I'll click on one of the circles. Control D to duplicate. Drag it into the start position I want. which is about here, and then click on the motion path, hold down shift to rotate the motion path, and then we'll drag the motion path into the right place. And we can use the cursor keys to do some fine adjustments. And then let's play. Great. One final thing I did just because I preferred the look of it visually, doesn't really matter. It's whatever works for you and how you think it looks good. I actually reversed the path direction of one of the circles. And to do that, you can select it, go to effect options, and then choose reverse path direction. So that will just go around the other way. Excellent, looking good. And you can adjust the timing to whatever you want or reverse any of these animations. And now we're just going to make the small adjustments to create the dark version. 
So if I click on slide one, press Ctrl D, I'll right click on the background and I'm going to make it a solid fill, just a blue for now, so I can see what I'm doing. So I'll click on the first one, shift click and shift click again, and then we'll go to outline and I'm going to choose white for this. And then I'll fill in the circles white, shape fill, white. And for the background, I'm now going to choose the grey and then run that. Excellent. A quick example of how you can use basic PowerPoint shapes and motion paths to bring your slides to life. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.